Greetings to you all in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and God who made the heaven and the entire universe. May his blessed be upon you all through Christ our Lord. Amen. People are suffering and they don't know how to make a command upon that punishment, upon that difficulty, upon that challenges that they have. They don't know what to do. They are just confused. When God has given us every weapon to make a command and the things will obey us, they will bow down and they will do what we want them to do. But yet, people don't know how to make use of what God has given to us. Today, I'm going to be teaching you what to use, one great weapon that God has placed upon our palm to make a command upon that long suffering, that long sickness, that long difficulties, that difficult challenges that refuses to go. The team, the weapon, the instruments you are going to use to make them leave you alone. I know many of us are reading the scripture, but it's a particular scripture that I've, I don't think I've heard anybody use it for prayer or for something else. But I tell you, today we are going to hear how powerful that scripture is. Many persons believe that when they pray with Psalms, they get their solution. Yes, it is true. But there is this particular scripture that just have just chapter 1 alone. It's very powerful. Try it and you will see it's going to work for you. I welcome you all in this our channel. May God bless you. Please do well to subscribe or follow us on our Facebook page. As you do that, may God continue to bless you, give you your heart desire, increase you with anything you are doing for a living. May darkness never cover you anymore. As you do that for us, just do it to encourage us. God bless you. Now we'll begin. We're going to take from the scripture, the book of Manasseh, chapter 1, verse 3 to 5. Don't forget, I told you, just after chapter 1 alone. We are going to start from verse 3 and we're going to end at verse 5. It's a powerful prayer to command that difficulty in your life, that challenges, that long suffering in your life. We are going to take from verse 3. Verse 3 says, The sea obeys your command. Your sickness obeyed your command. Your long suffering obeys your command and never overflows its bands. The power of your wonderful, glorious name keeps the ocean dead in their place. When you command, when you speak, that ocean that have refused to live your life, it will take the nearest place and go away from you. Why? Because you have used the power in your tongue and back up with the scripture that God gave to us to fight that difficult life. Your command, they obey. Don't forget, in Old Testament, Moses used the rod and stretched to the Red Sea and the sea divided. That means the sea obey the command of Moses. Then why can that sickness living in your body will not obey? Why that barrenness in you will not obey? Why that impotence in you will not obey? Why that long difficult sickness that refuse to go living in you will not obey you? Because you have not made a command to those things to find their nearest place away from where you are. Now verse 4. When you show your power, all creation trembles. When the power of God manifest everything that is tormenting you will tremble they will run away where you are and they will bow down for our god speak to your problem learn to speak don't say oh i am dying i don't have who to help me speak to that problem that you are experiencing and it will obey you verse 5 your glorious splendor is overwhelming and your anger is more than sinners can endure. The power of God 
is bigger than your problem. Is greater than your problem. Learn to speak today. Pray with this and command that thing that has been tormenting you for long and that will obey you. May God bless you as you do this. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I pray for you. May God bless you. Bless your entire family. Bless our nation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you.